Picture this. It's the early era of computing. Machines fill entire rooms and programmers write instructions in raw assembly language. In that world, the concept of a simple if-else statement didn't exist yet. What? Instead, it was all about conditional jumps and labels. This is assembly, a low-level programming language that began taking shape in the late 1940s. In the assembly, branching was done through conditional jumps. If a certain condition was met, like two registers comparing a certain way, you jump to a specific label in the code. This means juggling a lot of labels making the flow harder to flow. As programming languages evolved, the push for readability and maintainability led to the invention of structured programming concepts. The if-else statement was born from this movement. Suddenly, programmers could write clear self-contained blocks of logic. No more jumping around large parts of code to figure out where logic would go next. If you watch my video about the history of semicolons, you already know that Elgo developers introduced many core concepts we still use today, including else if statements. You might point out that early languages like Fortran in the 1950s used conditional statements, but they usually did so with conditional go to's or arithmetic if statements, not the clear cut if then else block structure that Elgo 60s popularized. This was more than just a new keyword, it was a monumental shift in how we think about control flow. Each language brought its own twist, like Python's indented block or else if chains in others. But the essence remained the same readability, maintainability, and structured flow. These design principles not only shaped the else if structure but paved the way for modern programming practices. Of course, we have other tools to handle logic conditions in our apps, like switch key statements, pattern matching, maps or dictionaries of functions or actions, and polymorphism through object-oriented design. But due to its simplicity and flexibility, if-else statements remain the most popular approach. From the clunky jumps of assembly to the clean blocks of if-else, conditional logic has come a long way. It's a cornerstone of today's programming. Next time you type if, remember that you're standing on the shoulders of coding pioneers who fought for simpler, more elegant ways to tell computers what to do. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the evolution of programming. And stay intact!